Ladies and gentlemen, this is your most luckier fine host and social media. That is right, it is Team Rara here. Listeners, how you doing? And it's very well. Thursday's edition. Let's cut to the chase. And now we'll discuss for you Russian topics, Russian news, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, be a free dog, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you'll just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain matter. And there will be an article down below if you guys and gals are very curious on this article. Let's freaking roll it. Now, it seems like Dan Bryan is going to sign a brand new contract with the WWE. Okay? Listen to this, okay? I'm just going to give you a little preview you guys could read the rest of it it's no secret that Dan O'Brien was like to stay with the WWE he has said public that the odds were 90% that he would be signing a brand new deal the process was slow because he hired a lawyer to handle everything and it was discovered that W had an option from 2012 contract that kept the cook kept him on board for another year into 2019 Wow I never knew about that Wow I guaranteed um, Dan Bryan was not very happy because probably losing patience so I don't know when is his contract, his current contract expires. I think sometime this month. So the sooner the better he signs a brand new contract. Very soon he's going to team up with his lovely wife in a mixed tag team match between The Miz and Maurice and the Hell in a Cell. Now I don't like that match at all. I prefer having Dana Bryan versus The Miz in a hell on itself it match itself you know the, the cage come down and they'll end the freaking feud that's how I would book it instead of having a, a freaking mixed tag team match you know stupid but this is WWE we talking this is not ROH this is not Impact Wrestling this is a freaking WWE you know they do some stupid crap lately and a lot of us give up on the product and I totally understand. Now, you guys think you think that'll make more sense? Daniel Bryan versus The Miz in a hell in a cell match itself, or you guys prefer the max mixed tag team match, husband and wife versus husband and wife? I don't know if that's gonna be a good draw for Hell in a Cell. That's why they put it at Hell in a Cell instead of Mania or Survivor Series or SummerSlam or freaking Royal Rumble. Now this is the time a lot of these versus fans does not give a crap about WWE. Tonight is the first NFL game so people are going to tune into that. People are going to tune into Sunday afternoon games tonight and of course Monday Night Football. That's going to hurt the ratings for Monday Night Raw. Of course Monday Night Raw is the same old thing. You know, they don't improve, especially when football is going to come back. You got a doubleheader this morning night. Is, is Raw going to make any improvements? Absolutely not. You know, I watch Raw and I watch Monday Night Football. I watch either or. It all depends on the matchups, you know, and if it's a good game or not. By 90%, that's a good thing. So he's going to re sign with the WWE and hopefully. He retire once again this time permanently and then go into the WWE Hall of Fame in their future. Don't put him in the Hall of Fame right at the get go like they did for HBK, you know. And they did it for Edge right away, you know. They should wait a couple years, then then put him in the Hall of Fame. The guys who really been uh, has been out of the wrestling business for a long time. Then they put then then those guys should be in the Hall of Fame. But I guess they had all issues with the like demolition. There's so much 
I guess demolition soon done will be. That's how I heard. So right now they're on bad terms. So that's all I gotta say. So already I went a little overboard. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the like. Hopefully you guys check out the article and don't give any bad feedback. This is your lovely host here. Team Alright is out.